let's take a few examples on the concept of distance of a point from the line so this is a trivial question find the distance between the line this and the point this now if it is saying distance between this line and the point it is understood that we are talking of the perpendicular distance unless and until it tells you the direction in which the distance is to be measured in this case it is a straightforward question this is the point this is the line we are interested in finding the perpendicular distance this is 2 comma 1 and this is 12x minus 5y plus 9 is 0 according to our formula step 1 bring all the terms of the line on the one side and since they are on the one side we don't have to do anything step 2 substitute these coordinates in place of x and y so in place of x we will substitute 2 in place of y we will substitute 1 therefore we get 12 into 2 minus 5 into 1 plus 9 step 3 divide by coefficient of x square that is 12 square plus coefficient of y square and take its square root and take modulus to get positive answer because distance is always measured positive therefore 24 minus 5 plus 9 upon this comes out to be 13 this is 33 minus 5 33 minus 5 is 28 by 13 this much units that is the distance of this point from the line is 28 by 13 units Okay. We'll take another question. What are the points on the y-axis whose distance from this line is 4 units? Obviously, again, he is saying the distance. Distance simply means the perpendicular distance. Whenever nothing is said, distance means the perpendicular distance. So, what does, does the question say? This is our line. We have to point, find a point on the y-axis. This is your y-axis. Therefore, any point on y-axis is of the form 0, comma y. So, we have to find a point on y-axis from which the perpendicular distance on this line is 4 and this line is given to be we can rearrange this we can write this as 4x plus 3y is equal to 12 therefore this equation is 4x plus 3y and we can take 12 to the left side equals to 0 we have to find this coordinate had the question said find the points on x axis we would have taken x comma 0 instead of 0 comma y the process would have remained the same so we don't have to do anything all the terms are on the one side we will put these coordinates in place of x and y to so 4 into 0 plus 3 into y minus 12 we'll take mod and divide by coefficient of x and y squares and add it 4 square plus 3 square and this distance is given to be 4 the so 4 into 0 0 3 y minus 12 upon 5 mod is equal to 4 and since we do not know the value inside the modulus, modulus gives you positive output. Therefore, 3 by minus 12 upon 5 will be equal to plus minus 4. Why? Because 3 by minus 12, if it is plus 4, then 2 it will give you 4. And if it if the value of 3 by minus 12 upon 5 is minus 4, then also it will give you 4 as the answer. Therefore, both these options will have to be taken. Therefore, 3 by minus 12 upon 5 is 4 first equation. 3 by minus 12 upon 5 equals to minus 4 second equation. We will solve them separately. So, 3 by minus 12 is equal to 20. 3 by equals to 32. Y comes out to be 32 by 3. Therefore, one of the coordinate is 0 comma 32 by 3. If we solve the next equation, 3 by minus 12 is equal to minus 20. 3 by is equal to minus 20 plus 12. Therefore, 3 by comes out to be minus 8. Therefore, y comes out to be minus 8 by Therefore, the other coordinate that is possible from which the perpendicular distance on this line will be 4 is 0, comma minus 8 by 3. Therefore, in this case, there are two points from which if we drop the perpendicular on the line, it, their distance would be 4. Therefore, one of the answer is this and the other answer is this. Had the question said point on x-axis, we would have taken x, comma 0 and followed the same process.